Top 5 Best Soundbar for TV Number 5. Roku Stream Bar If you don't have a big budget for a soundbar, then the Roku Stream Bar could be a solid choice. It's not going to revolutionize the way you listen to movies, but if you have a low to mid-range TV then it will absolutely do a better job of providing clarity and volume than the screen's built-in speakers. Plus, it's a Roku device, so if you're missing some key streaming services then you'll now have them all to hand, which is pretty useful. You get improved sound with a decent enough punch of power, and access to Disney+, Hulu, Paramount+, Apple TV+, and more. It's not got any fancy surround sound tech and the channels are limited, but at less than $100, what do you expect? It's not quite a proper home cinema, but it will definitely do a better job than most TV speakers on their own. Pros, crisp, clear sound. Pretty powerful for its size. Built-in Roku streaming. Cons missing surround sound tech. Will hardly blow you away. Coming in number 4. Sonos Beam. With a soundbar, the best things don't come in small packages. But the Sonos Beam Gen 2 really puts forward a solid case despite its compact size. Absolutely perfect if you have a smaller TV, it's also great if you just don't have a lot of space in your setup. Two of the forward-facing channels are upward-facing which means that even for a soundbar of this size, it does a pretty impressive job of handling Dolby Atmos 3D audio. It's not quite as convincing as some other soundbars, and will never be as good as a full surround sound system with a high-end receiver, but compared to the flat sound of a TV it's still awesome. It does have some drawbacks, it's not as powerful as larger soundbars, and it's missing some key tech like Bluetooth for pairing your phone automatically. It's not essential when your primary use is for your TV, but it'd be nice to have it. At this price though, it does a great job of elevating the sound from your movies and games and is definitely worth your consideration. Pros, amazing value. Impressive sound from a compact size. Still tackles Dolby Atmos. Cons, missing Bluetooth. Lacks the power of larger soundbars. Coming in number 3. Samsung HWQ950A. Another fantastic choice for a soundbar, Samsung's HWQ950A is a revamp of the prior year's model and adds an additional two channels to take it to a very impressive 16 all-from-one soundbar, produced by 22 individual speakers. It does an excellent job of creating 3D sound through Dolby Atmos and certainly packs a punch every explosion or car chase really does sound mighty and will really hit home, keeping you immersed in every scene. But while it is powerful, it's not quite as crisp as some of the other options on this list, and when it comes to music playback it definitely isn't as strong as some similar competitors. It's fine, but definitely more tailored towards gaming and movies. It's lacking an HDMI 2.1 pass-through but does have HDMI 2.0 so 4K at 60 frames per second is achievable. And it works really well with a high-end Samsung TV thanks to Q-Symphony, which uses the TV speakers as the central channel. When used with a Neo Q LED with Object Tracking Sound Pro, you've got an amazing soundstage from just a super thin TV and a discrete soundbar. Really impressive overall. Pros, 16 individual channels from one soundbar. Exceptional audio power. Works with Q Symphony Tech. Cons, expensive. No HDMI 2.1 pass-through. Not the best musical performance. Coming in number 2. Sony HTA 7000. It's a really close run between Sony's best soundbar and the Sonos Arc in terms of the best overall soundbar. Sony's offering does have more features and projects a better 3D soundstage, but the final sharpness of sound from the Sonos Arc is a little better, and the price difference means the Arc definitely offers more value. But if you've got the budget, then the HTA 7000 is a truly outstanding soundbar. It also has the full Dolby Suite as well as DTSX and Sony's own 360 Reality Audio Tech for a truly immersive 3D sound without the need for extra speakers, although they will improve things if you've got the cash spare. It's got multi-room support if you add extra speakers, voice control with all the major smart assistants, and it comes with Spotify Connect, Apple AirPlay 2 and Chromecast all built in. With two HDMI 2.1 pass-through ports you can get the best audio from your console without losing that 4K 120Hz picture quality, although it is missing some key gaming tech for the pass-through including VRR and ALLM, hopefully these can be added later. 
And if you have a Broadway TV, you can use the Sony Acoustic Center Sync feature to add your TV speakers to the central channel, leaving the soundbar free to focus on directional audio around the room. It's a nice boost and helps to just elevate those blockbuster movies a little bit more. Pros 2 HDMI 2.1 Pass-Through Packed with features Works with Sony Acoustic Center Sync Cons Expensive Missing a couple of key TV features Coming in number 1. Sonos Arc. This powerful soundbar from Sonos does an incredible job of creating a 3D soundscape from a single all-in-one solution. It does this through Dolby's True HD and Digital Plus codecs which refine the sound coming from your TV to create crisp audio, before then using the Dolby Atmos tech to bounce it around the room using the internal directional speakers. There are other soundbars that work with Atmos but the Sonos Arc just slightly outperforms them all from a pure audio quality standpoint. Highs are nice and sharp while lows rumble with power without getting lost. For a discrete single soundbar, what it manages to achieve is pretty impressive. It's really easy to set up but the main pain point here is the lack of any HDMI pass-through, so you're relying on your TV to act as the midway point. It's unlikely that you'd pair a soundbar this good with a cheap TV anyway, but just be aware that to get the best out of the soundbar you'll want one with decent audio tech on board. Pros All-in-one soundbar no sub needed. Incredible audio fidelity for movies and music. Full Dolby Suite Atmos, True HD, and Digital Plus. Cons Long needs a 55 inches TV or bigger. No HDMI pass-through.